Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. Today we are looking to see a being chinchinga. It brings about childhood memories and I'm gonna share it with you in a GV. Please do want to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Okay, so let's get started. If you've already watched how to make soy, soy milk on my channel, you know the process. You know you have to take away the chaff, wash your soya bean thoroughly to make sure that everything is taken out of it. And after washing it, this is what I have. So I'm just going to soak it with water, enough water for it to rest for about 12 hours or overnight. And after that, this is what we have. After resting for 12 hours, you realize that your bean will increase in size. It will become twice its size and then skin will form off it. So you're just going to rinse it and make sure that all the skin has come out and then after that we're just going to blend our serving this is just the same process you go through whilst making your sermon so i'm going to link that video in my description box do go to check it out so after blending all the serving this is what you have it is important to use cheese cloth but i don't have cheese cloth so i'm just making a, a makeshift cheese cloth with this lace or net that we have in the kitchen so i'm just going to gradually take some of my blended soya bean into this add a little bit of water to make sure or to make it easier for me to squeeze all the milk out of it so you just gather the size of of your makeshift cheese cloth and then you're just going to squeeze the milk out of this so, okay so story time um, I had this best friend in junior high that we always buy it so you are being kicked up after school and it was one of the best memories I have growing up. So that's how come I love so you been so much. <laughs> so after squeezing it, this is all the juice that I have. That will make a lot of juice. So I'm just going to put this on fire to cook it or is it cook? <laughs> to make it simmer for some few minutes. So it's at least hot and then I'm going to add about six tablespoons of white vinegar. In place of vinegar, you can use lime or lemon juice and then you're going to get the exact quality or exact thing that I achieved here. So I'm just going to leave it for it to be on fire for some few minutes and for you to know that it's done, you will see that your your milk will start to cuddle and the water underneath it will start to run clear as you can see. So that's your cue that is done and is ready for the next step. So this is it. I'm just going to use my makeshift cheesecloth again. And then I'm just going to gather the curd out of my water and then squeeze it out. So this is what I'm doing now. So after gathering all your curd or or your tofu <laughs> this is what you're going to do you're just going to gather the size and squeeze it out be careful it is hot it comes out really really hot like i burn myself with it so really be careful try as much as possible to, to squeeze all the water out and then after that you just tie your cheesecloth or your makeshift cheesecloth put enough um weight on it so that you make it it will drain overnight so this is the weight that I put in. You can put any weight that you have. And after 12 hours, this is where we have our tofu is ready to be used. Or our soya bean has formed into tofu style or into a shape that you can cut up into your kebab. So this is what we have. So I'm just going to cut it like that and then make squares out of it. So that's me doing that. So after that, I'm just going to marinate my soya bean kebab or my tofu with just pepper and onion mixture to give it that spiciness that I want. And then to this, I'm going to add some crayfish seasoning and a little bit of salt for taste. And that's about it. I'm just going to give it a stir and let it marinate for about 10 to 15 minutes so that every part of my seasoning will enter my soya bean <laughs> kebab so whilst that is happening let's cut up some vegetables that we are going to decorate our soya bean with and this is just up to your discretion i just use these vegetables because they were right in my kitchen so after that it's time for us to fry our kebab 
So that's it. You're just going to put it in hot oil to make sure that it fries. And then you do not want it to be brown like dark. You just want it to be in the medium color, not too dark, not too white. So after frying for about some few minutes, because it really cooks fast, this is what I have. This is the first batch that is ready, and the second batch is already in fire. So that's about it. So I have this now. I'm just going to add, um, how do you call it? Suya seasoning. <laughs> I have a story about it. I'm going to share it in the comments. But this is suya seasoning that I've added a little bit of oil to it. I'm just going to shake it around to make sure that every part of my kebab is well marinated with this suya seasoning. Okay, guys. So I have a lifestyle channel. So if you want to see the face behind these videos, do well to check out that channel. It's Life is Shelly. I'm going to link it in the description box, so do well to check that out. And please don't forget to subscribe to that channel also. Thank you so much for your support. If you have put my video to this far and you have not subscribed to my channel, why? I mean, what's, what's happening? Subscribe, okay? Like, I'm looking at you. Like, I can see you. Subscribe. It came out so beautiful. Like, it was super, super beautiful. And I was so impressed with myself. So after arranging it all up, I'm just going to line it up in a baking tray, add a little bit of soya spice to this, and then I'm just going to bake it for about um, 5 to 10 minutes. This is just to bring about the juiciness in my kebab. And after 10 minutes, this is what we have. It came out looking so perfect and delicious. It's time for me to taste this. Actually, this is my first try, and I feel like it came out so nice, so delicious. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.